This is DashboardSymbols.com. Today's video will help you get in and jumpstart an electric vehicle made by Cadillac. These and all EVs use a 12-volt battery to actually start the car, much like a 12-volt battery is used to start an internal combustion engine vehicle. And if the 12-volt battery dies, the EV can be jump-started. Only the Escalade opens conventionally using a traditional mechanical key inside the key fob and a traditional lock cylinder. We struggled with it, but eventually succeeded. For all the models, we'll need to access the mechanical key. Look for this chrome button on the side. Push it in and pull on the key ring end, and you have the key. A keyhole is not visible, so we'll need to remove this cover at the back of the driver's door handle. Look for this slot beneath the cap and push the mechanical key in as far up as it will go. Here is where we encountered our first issue. The cover releases almost immediately, which you can see in here, as it pops out about a quarter of an inch. Rather than show you what we did, which was wrong, let me simply say that the next thing to do is to pull the key out and simply swivel the cover away. We don't have a cure for the second issue. The car has a two-stage latch where, when closed, the door is pulled into its final position electronically. We inserted the key and turned, as you can see, and the door only opened part way. We closed and released the door several times and ran the procedure twice, and in each case, at some point, the door simply came open. Be patient and keep trying, and you'll get in as we did. Once inside, open the hood by firmly pulling the hood release cable twice to release the hood. It is on the lower left side of the instrument panel. Lyric, Optic, and Vistic models require something quite different. The key fob is the same, but there's no keyhole in the driver's door. But there is one beneath the hatch, as shown. So insert the key here and turn. The hatch releases and can be fully opened. The Lyric we used here for a different demonstration had power, so we triggered the alarm. The 12-volt battery in the Vistic is on the left side of the rear cargo area. You'll have access to it once a cover is removed. In Lyric and Optic models, you'll need to crawl to the front to open the hood. This may include releasing and folding the rear seat backs. Once you reach the front of the car, open the driver's door using the handle on the door trim to enable the hood release handle's full range of motion. Pull the release, also found at the lower left side of the instrument panel, twice. In the Lyric and Optic, remove the large cover found in the center of the frunk by pulling it up and away. Pull hard, it won't be damaged. In the Escalade, pull the cover on the passenger side of the frunk away. Now, there is access to the 12-volt start battery's connections in all the models. From here, a jump start proceeds as it has on vehicles for 50 years, but we'll go through it for completeness. First, connect the red or positive cable to the positive terminal of the EV. A red cover will need to be removed. Second, connect the other end of that cable to the positive terminal of the battery being used to jump the EV. The illustration shows a loose battery, but it can be, in fact, under the hood of another vehicle. Third, connect one end of the black or ground cable to the negative terminal of the jump battery. And four, connect the other end of the ground cable to the vehicle's chassis. The connection point is found on the fender in the Escalade, alongside the fender in the Lyric, near the front of the Optic, and near the back wall on the Vistic, also behind a removable cover. The car may need a little time to charge before starting, and we do not recommend revving the engine of the jump vehicle if one is being used. Once started, the first thing to do is find a service center to have the start battery tested, charged, or more likely replaced. 
For other helpful videos generally covering push-button or keyless start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to dashboardsymbols.com.